Welcome to the Law Firm Marketing Minute, your source of internet marketing inspiration. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Law Firm Marketing Minute. I'm your host, John Henson, and we are wrapping up the 2022 season, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that. But um, yeah, a couple more episodes this year. We're going to take a couple of weeks off uh, for Christmas and the new year, kind of like we did last year. Um, but still got a couple more episodes this year. Uh, and this week, I uh, wanted to kind of deviate slightly from uh, the marketing theme and talk to you about core values. Um, we actually had uh, six new people start last week, which is crazy uh, because, I mean, that's basically, I think we essentially grew our uh, team by like 50%, um, which is nuts. Um, but you know, hiring a bunch of people, which means business is going great. Um, you know, really excited about uh, just everything that we've got going on here. But I was sitting in on kind of this this group training class that we had to put together because uh, you know when you you know, you you have you hire you train one new employee okay fine you can kind of do some one on one stuff go through all the manuals and all that but when you have six then it turns into this whole seminar and this you know big presentation or whatever so you know, I was sitting in on a little bit of that uh, walking by the room listening to. To, to everything that was going on. And I, and I was listening in for briefly uh, when we were going over our core values. And it, it was interesting, you know, I, I think a lot of you who listen to the show are familiar with kind of the EOS model, um, other kind of business models, and, and familiar with the concept of core values. And if you're not, it's essentially, you know, anywhere from three to six kind of statements and values that uh, your com- that your firm exemplifies, right? Um, you know, and so and essentially, it's statements that are true of who your team is. And and one thing that I think a lot of people get confused on it's not your core values are not necessarily what you want your company to be. It's what your company is. And, and a lot of times the core values reflect the the owner's values. Um, cause, you know, and, and even on a strange kind of subliminal level, um, you know, the owner ends up hiring people that that exemplify some sort of trait that they that they really like. And so um, you know, the thing to keep in mind if you know, if you have core values now or you don't have them. Now's a great time to start thinking about them, and, and especially if you want to roll out new values in the new year or modify them. Um, you know, now's a good time to kind of think about that. You know, and, and look, here's the thing: you absolutely can change your core values as a company. There's nothing wrong with that, right? The only people who are going to know you've changed your core values are your employees. People on the outside looking in uh, who interact with you—they're not going to know, right? You know, we are, I think, on our third set of core values, which, you know, it's, it's not, it's not that like the first two sets weren't accurate. It's just that over time, we realized there are other values that we think are more important. And especially, you know, as people change, get older, more mature, they evolve and, 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 you know, things that were important to you five years ago may not be as important to you now. You know, uh, for example, you know, one of the things, one of the, like one of our like initial core values was like simplify, you know, the, and, and what went along with it was like the Steve Jobs quote where like simplicity is the ultimate sophistication or something like that. And that's, that was something that, you know, we felt was very important to us. We had simple processes. Our designs were, you know, not basic, but they were clean. There there wasn't a lot of bells and whistles. It wasn't complicated or anything like that. And, you know, that, that mindset and that concept is still present, but it's not necessarily at the forefront of what drives us right? Instead, now it's things like presentation matters, you know, it's, it's, and it's, it's not just how we, uh, 
dress or anything like that, but it's the product that we create. It's how our workspace looks. It's how our office is designed, all that kind of stuff, you know, and it's, it's almost an evolution of a former core value, which is, you know, something that can absolutely happen with you. But, you know, it, it's just small things like that, um, that, that really can, you know, show the evolution of your firm in, in those core values. And so, um, you know, in thinking about, like, if you don't have core values right now and thinking about how you might develop some, you know, think about the things that are important to you. The one place that, you know, I've seen companies kind of get lazy with or or just kind of default to is like stuff that is, you know, we call it pay for play. It's It's just stuff that like people should just automatically have these values, you know, like honesty, like if your core value is honesty, like it just tells me that you just didn't put a lot of time into, you know, these core values. And it doesn't really matter, honestly, like what industry you're in, you know, you should just have people who are inherently honest. Like if, if, you know, you know, a company that, that doesn't have a core value of honesty, like I'm not thinking they're dishonest, you know, but like a company that has honesty as a core value, like, that should just be a thing that you are, you know, that should just be a basic trait that you are all the time, you know, uh, teamwork, you know, yeah, you're going to promote teamwork, you know, yeah, yeah, everybody works together. Great. You know, now look, we have a core value called win together. It is in that same vein as teamwork, but we take it a step further because the, the clarifying statement with it is like, we're open, we're honest, you know, we're in this together. And, and it's the, it's the open and honest aspect of it. You know, if you thought, if you think about um, the five dysfunctions of a team, that, that book by uh, Patrick Lencioni, um, you know, trust is kind of that base level pyramid on the pyramid. And it's about open and honest communication, being vulnerable with each other. And that's, that's where that is. It's, it's not being afraid to call someone out and and work and then work with them to to make things right and make things better and so you know you know don't don't just settle for basic values like really think about what is important to you what what sorts of traits and unique characteristics do you embody as a business owner and then look at what is true of your firm and you know, from there, it, you know, you may have some tough decisions to make, you know, if you realize like you've got people on your team who do not embody the values that are very important to you, that you may have to let them go and then hire people who do embody those values. And you're going to find that people, you know, if you have a team who is bought in and embodies those core values that you say your firm's going to run a lot better. So uh, just a, a couple of small things to think about there uh, as, as we're winding down the year. Uh, definitely recommend if you do not have core values, absolutely put uh, put some together. Um, you know, and, and if you're if you're struggling to kind of think about, um, you know, where to start, you know, what to do, I, I'm happy to chat with you, send you some resources, point you in the right direction, um, you know, and, and all that kind of good stuff. But I uh, hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know this is coming out like two weeks, I guess, after Thanksgiving, but, um, you know, uh, hope you're getting ready to to enjoy the holiday season. I uh, hope you're getting set up for a, a great 2023. I mean, look, if, you, if you're interested in talking about marketing, uh, you know, beefing up your marketing strategy, changing your marketing strategy for 2023. We're happy to chat, happy to talk with you about what we do here at Spotlight Branding. Um, and, and you definitely feel free to reach out and, and chat with us about that. But that's going to do it for us this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Please visit lawfirmmarketingminute.com for more information. We'll see you next time.